Hello! Time for another episode, number eight. Even if I did spend some time today considering if I'm going to continue doing this, as the kind of my viewers are plummeting down. Anyway, here I am again. Um, this week I kind of um, hit the 10k reputation uh, level at Stack Overflow. Woo! Very cool. Um, and uh, somehow OpenHub now counts my public commits to 40 thousand plus i don't know what they do but they kind of recount that every now and then and suddenly it's bumped by a large number i don't know in firefox my um my pretty big job or it, it wasn't a big but it took a long time to fix two three seven six two three back in june about uh, fixing http framing strictness basically making sure that um, content length and the actual data uh, provided from a server uh, actually matches and that we don't accept uh, broken uh, content I mean uh, uh, sorry uh, chunk encoding streams with broken chunks as fine delivers when the connection cuts I worked on that I blogged about it and um, now that change went into Firefox 33 and it went live like uh, a, a while ago a week ago I don't remember and um, that went really bad because all of a sudden, I mean, it's, the change has been there for a long time now. It's been tested in Nightly and Aurora and Beta and everywhere. And no, nobody has experienced any problems at all until now. And suddenly we got a lot of reports from people not being able to view this and that. And, and we got reports on both on, on, on a long standing established servers showing both problems. So we had to kind of revert that part of the patch. So now we're again accepting unaligned sizes in content length and, and the actual data provided. And we accept that not all um, chunk encoding streams have their um, all the chunks delivered. We're discussing ways to kind of mitigate that total setback, at least at least it, it is not considered okay with speedy and http2 so at least with the newer protocols we're stricter but i'm still not happy with taking that big step back um i would say that the biggest problem is when you download a big file and it gets cut off in the middle that's kind of the original bug so yeah you want to download three gigabytes and suddenly it cuts it off at 2.5 and, and firefox considers that Okay, because yeah that's fine it doesn't oh well. <clears throat> um, otherwise uh, I did some fun uh, experiments to, together with Frank a friend of mine we did uh, some tested to how to have good actually it started out as a kind of a game to see what curl does when you try to connect to a server using port TCP port 0 which is fine in the TCP protocol and uh, we Played a little bit with that, and that was interesting. So I blogged about it, and it's been my most viewed blog post in a really long time. A lot of know-it-allers and and uh, good comments on on that, on why, what it, I mean, why it works like it does, and what why it doesn't work as it doesn't work. Basically, from a client perspective, like curl, it works like any other product uh, for it. But uh, if you're if you're um, trying to open a server on port zero, you have some interesting challenges. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to uh, write. Um, you can read my blog post for that. Uh, in HTTP two land, which I don't think I've mentioned for a while, uh, there's been a lot of discussions about HPAC. They, they had a compression algorithm used for HTTP two. Uh, HPAC. 09 is the latest one and it's um, it's being discussed there was a change between the 8 and the 9 version where uh, um, there was there was a change made that made um, kind of a lot of dynamic headers get pen penalized more than the more standard long standing uh, uh, fewer set of headers so there's been a long of long a series of discussions how to act i mean uh, either revert that decision and go back to it how it was before or 
make it improve it or, or kind of change it somehow to make it work better, even in cases when you have a lot of custom headers, basically. So there's, and there's been a very long discussion about doing that or not, and what the gain could be and what the loss could be, and if it's really necessary and what the interrupt pains will be and so on. So I've been kind of negative about doing anything at all since I, mostly all of the improvements have been very minor. So I think it hasn't really been worth getting all the interrupt pains back on the table again, but we'll see. There's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, support for at least one of the suggestions on how to go forward. So we'll see what happens about that. HTTP2 will not be enabled by default in Firefox 34, which is the one that is going to be released the next in a couple of weeks, I believe. <clears throat> um, basically because HTTP2 is not considered stable or as close to be released this way as we perhaps once thought it would be at this point in time. So it seems like uh, HTTP2 is still dragging on. We'll see where, where that ends. Hopefully we'll just be done with it at some point soon. Oh, and by the way, I have this uh, in, in um, celebration of this Google Summer of Code 10 years anniversary, I thought I'd bring out a you know, goody t-shirt <clears throat> back from seven years ago. Uh, I'm suggesting two talks of mine for FOSTEM 2015, uh, one about HTTP2 and one about uh, libcurl in two different dev rooms. I don't know, we'll see how they are received. I'm not sure I have got the necessary attention on those, but yeah. And today, by the way, WGET was released, uh, um, the 1.16 release version. And that's cool to see. They, uh, they added a bunch of smaller things, but I think the biggest change with WGET now is that they have a public suffix uh, support for a cookie, do no, for domains in, for, in particular cookies, but even for uh, certificates, something we don't do in Curl just yet. I hope we will do that um, at some point in the future. I'm uh, still also struggling with a, with a security related bug fix for the pending release of Curl, which is gonna happen next week on, on Wednesday next week. So uh, November 5 and um, yeah, it's a, writing a, a very a good descriptive uh, advisory for a security problem is tricky to describe a really accurate description of how the bug happens and what the possible uh, outcome of, from that could be or would be and, and just thinking about it. So it's taking some time, but I, I have good friends and I have good uh, help here. So I think we're getting somewhere. Um, that is about it for this week, October 27th. Did I say that? Yeah, I guess I said so. I hope, I hope to get this. <laughs> I got some weird pop up on my screen. Um, I want to get more interest in my videos. I want to get, make it more interesting. So I'm interested in your feedback, what I should do to make them more interesting and, and more perhaps visually pleasing or, or appealing or, um, I don't know. Tell me what you think. What should I do with these videos? Should I keep them up or should I just skip it? Should I make them more seldom? Should I make them more often? Tell me what you think. This coming week, I'm gonna continue working on my uh, Firefox things. I did get my fl cache flash um, fix into Firefox Aurora. Uh, last week and I have these problems with my Firefox OS patch for Linux and for Linux for network changes that is causing some timeouts in the B2G emulator which is the Firefox OS emulator for uh, one of them in the CPP unit tests and I'm struggling to repeat that on my own machine so that I can debug that because I don't see why why my changes would cause any timeouts in, in the Firefox emulator thing but that is really magic stuff from, from my eye, from my view. I mean, I haven't ever worked with that, so it's 
just building it took a good deal of time and I, and I don't even know how to start the tests yet. So I tried to ask around and Google for it, but yeah, I'm a little bit stuck there. I'm working on the network changes for on the Mac. I have a, I have a working patch, but I got some comments on the style and how to use the API and so on. So I'm gonna try to improve that to make that continue on. Uh, that is basically it. <clears throat> So yeah, and, uh, and curl-wise, we have a bunch of bugs that I'm going to try to continue working on until the release next week. So hopefully we got some nasty pipelining stuff reported. And I got some interesting bug just now, just the minutes ago about um, curl. Actually, the bug was reported on curl 7.12.1, released in August 2004. Uh, but but still, I, I checked it out and it seems that we we might may not handle HTTP codes properly if they're kind of more than three digits, which they're not allowed to be according to the specs, but we're liberal. So we accept basically whatever number you can put there, but there, there might some, be some interesting side effects about doing just that. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm playing, around, playing around with that a little bit. Uh, that's it for this week. Um, I might be back next week. See you.